Yeah. Please fill me with Haruka Kodesh, that I may speak your written words with boldness to those who listen. I ask all these things in Yeshua HaMashiach's name. Amen. We'll start with the Shema. Listen and obey. Children of Yah, pay careful attention and respond. Yahava is our power and authority. Yahava works in unity with himself. And you shall act upon your love to Yahava, your power and authority, with your thoughts and mind, with your entire body, and with all the muchness that you have. Proverbs 16. A person is responsible to prepare his heart, but how the tongue speaks is from Yahava. All a man's ways are pure in his own view, but Yahava weighs the spirit. If you entrust all you do to Yahava, your plans, your plans will achieve success. Yahava made everything for its purpose, even the wicked for the day of disaster. Yahava detests all those with proud hearts. Be assured that they will not go unpunished. Grace and truth atone for iniquity, and people turn from evil through fear of Yahava. When a man's ways please Yahava, he, he makes even the man's enemies be at peace with him. Better a little with righteousness than a huge income with injustice. A person may plan his path, but Yahava directs his steps. Divine inspiration is on the lips of the king, so his mouth must be faithful when he judges. The balance of the scales of justice have their, have their origin in Yahava. All the weights in the bag are his doing. It is an abomination for a king to do evil, for the throne is made secure by righteousness. The king should delight in righteous lips, and he should love someone who speaks what is right. The king's anger is a herald of death, and one who is wise will appease it. When the king's face brightens, it means life. His favor is like a cloud that brings spring rain. How much better than gold is it to gain wisdom? Yes, rather than money, choose to gain understanding. Avoiding evil is the highway of the upright. He who watches his step preserves his life. Pride goes before destruction and arrogance before failure. Better to be humble among the poor than share the spoil with the proud. He who has skill in the matter will succeed. He who trusts in Yahava will be happy. A wise-hearted person is said to have discernment and sweetness of speech adds to learning. Common sense is a fountain of life to one who has it, whereas fools are punished by their own folly. A wise man's heart teaches his mouth, and to his lips it adds learning. Pleasant words are like a honeycomb, sweet to the taste and healing for the body. There can be a way which seems right to a person, but at its end are the ways of death. A working man's appetite acts on his behalf because his hunger presses him on. A worthless person digs up evil gossip. It is like scorching fire on his lips. A deceitful person stirs up strife, and a slander can separate even close friends. A violent man lures his neighbor astray and leads him into evil ways. One who winks knowingly is planning deceit. One who pinches his lips together has already done wrong. White hair is a crown of honor obtained by righteous living. He who controls his temper is better than a war hero. He who rules his spirit better than he who captures a city. One can cast lots into one's lap, but the decision comes 
from Yahweh. End with the Arianic blessing. Yahweh will kneel before you presenting gifts, and he will guard you with a hedge of protection. Yahweh will illuminate the wholeness of his being toward you, bringing order, and he will provide you with love, sustenance, and friendship. Yahweh will lift up the wholeness of his being and look upon you and will set in place all you need to be whole and complete. Amen.